hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so i know it has been a long time since i've done a video but as you i hope you can see i am very much pregnant i am basically 37 weeks pregnant which means baby boy can come any day now and um i finally well i've had my hospital bags packed for quite some time now but I did want to do this video being a soon to be six time mom. Um, I think I have a pretty good idea of what um, I need to take. I'm out of breath, so you're going to have to forgive me. Um, I have a pretty decent idea of what the essentials are for hospitals for me. Take this with a grain of salt, you know, adjust as needed. But um, I just wanted to share with you guys what I will be taking to the hospital for myself, my husband, and for baby boys. So if you are interested in seeing what's in my hospital bags, just keep on watching. And before we get started, please do not forget to hit the like button down below if you like this type of content, you know, mommy content. And uh, if you have not already, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and join the family. be going through my bags first just a little FYI in advance if you hear anything in the background there's five kids here just ignore them so I will be going through what is in my bags first um, I am NOT taking a fancy <laughs> Louis Vuitton bag or anything of the sort this is actually my husband's duffel bag that I bought for him some years ago I forgot what I bought it for but um, it's big enough to hold both of our things and that is what I will be taking um so the first thing i have in here is my heating pad and i do find because i've been basically experiencing what they call prodromal labor which is prolonged labor for the past three weeks and a lot of that pain is in my back so i do realize that using a heating pad has been super helpful and beneficial in alleviating some of that pain so i have my heating pad in here uh, the next thing, and this is not going in any specific order, I'm just grabbing items as they lay inside this bag. Um, I have a towel for myself, a pink towel, um, it's old, I don't really care if it gets dirty and I need to throw it in the garbage in the end, I really don't care. Um, the, how the hospital does, if you are in the U.S., the hospital provides about 99.99999% of the items that you will need. Let's say if you were to walk into a hospital with just the clothes on your back, you would be fine. The only thing you may need is a car seat, but other than that, you would be fine. I promise you, they're gonna bill you for it anyway. So I have my own towel only because the towels at the hospital are very, very small. And yes, I am a rather petite person, but even after I give birth, the snapback does not happen right away. And I'll still look about six months pregnant. So there's no need for you know those dry little itty bitty towels and being uncomfortable with that so I for that own purpose I bought my own towel and um, if I feel like it I can bring it home to wash it if not I have no problems chucking this in the garbage before I leave because I've had this for years so it's not a big deal my biggest tip is to take things that are not the most valuable to you that you don't mind getting dirty you know that you don't mind sacrificing for the cause so keep all of that in mind the next thing I have in here is a blanket I got this blanket from Old Navy some years ago the hospital gets very cold and I am somewhat anemic and those little sheets and blankets typically are not enough so I bought my own blanket um, for that reason so next up I have my waist trainer per se um, I don't know where my abdominal binder is that I had with my last baby. I probably threw it out because I didn't think I was having any more kids. But my cousin had gave this to me some time ago. And basically it kind of adjusts to fit your waist size. I think this was like in a size medium. So I'm taking this because after you have a baby, you know that your organs, everything on the inside just feels like mush. And having some type of support is really good to help getting things 
you know, shifting them back where they belong. So I'm taking that as some support. Uh, again, you don't need to take one, but I've watched several of these videos and everyone suggested this because of the angle of it. The hospital will give you a peri bottle, but it's more upright with a nozzle that goes upward. So you have to kind of angle it to um, get up in there. This one, you just kind of hold it like so and squirt and the water just shoots up. I'm excited y'all. So for those of you who are very unaware of what this is for, after you have um, a baby, especially a vaginal birth, your vagina is very, very swollen. That first pee or poop you have after you have a baby is not fun. You cannot wipe. And I'm going to be doing a full postpartum video as well. So that's why I'm not going to get into a whole lot of details with this one. Uh, if you do have any questions for me postpartum, you can feel free to leave them down below. And I will definitely do my best to answer those in the next video. But you can't wipe. You have to spray and then you can use a little tissue to pat dry. But you can't essentially just like wipe front to back like how we typically would after we use the bathroom. So that is where this comes into play. You just fill it up with warm water. Angle, squirt until everything is clean. And then you pat dry and keep it pushing. So yeah, this is about to be lit. And I will be sure to leave links to anything that I can find. I'll be sure to leave those down in the description bar below. So the next thing I have in here is some A&D ointment. And no, this is not for baby. <laughs> this is for me. Um, I basically laugh when I see people taking like 50 million tubes of chapstick to the hospital. I love A&D ointment. It's, a, it's very much like Blistex in a sense. It leaves my lips extremely hydrated, especially now due to the pandemic and having to wear a mask on top of it. I get very dehydrated and my lips get really dry. So I've been using A&D on my lips throughout my pregnancy and I just decided to bring, to bring a big old tube of that. So, and if I have to use it on baby boy, you know, in between diaper changes, then hey, it serves a multi-purpose. So I'll be using A&D ointment to keep these lips moisturized throughout labor and delivery. The next thing I have in my hospital bag is the Osmo uh, Mobile 3 from DJ, DJI. It is a gimbal. Um, I don't think I'm going to be bringing my Canon camera with me because it has a lot of parts. I'll have to bring the bag for it. And again, I don't want to be carrying a whole bunch of stuff. So I have my phone gimbal here. And uh, basically you put your phone in it. It has an app for it. You'll be able to vlog with it as well. And it has another piece here for if I need to extend so we can do vlog style. If I need to stand it up, you know, when we start to push and I want to be able to capture that moment, I can stand it up um, as a tripod on the table. I also have a lens that goes on my phone as well. This lens is a wide angle lens and it has, I have the case for my phone. I have to remember to put that in my bag as well. But it basically looks like this. And this just connects to the back of the case and it literally gives you DSLR quality. This is from the brand called Moment. I will be sure to link this in the description box below. So the next thing I have in my bag is this uh, little clasp folder and I just threw my extra mask in here. I'm sure the hospital will provide you with masks but I just brought my own just in case. But when you leave the hospital, they give you a ton of paperwork and then you're always folding things up and trying to find spaces to stuff them. So I like to bring some type of folder with me to insert everything. And this is what I'll be using this for. So this actually needs to go inside of that folder, but this is the form for my tubal ligation. I have not 100% made up my mind as of yet whether I want to go through with it, but in the event that I do, it's already signed, sealed, delivered. Um, it is ready, prepared, my doctor has already signed it, so I have that with me just in But here's just some of the just simple essentials that I have in here to take with me to make me feel a little bit more human. I have a couple more masks, 
because you can't have too many of those. We are in the midst of a pandemic. I got these gloves from her as well. Um, I will be using these instead of taking like a loofah or a wash rag. And when I'm finished, when I leave the hospital, I can just throw them in the garbage. If you've ever been in the hospital for any reason, if you've ever been admitted to the hospital for anything at all, you understand how hard it is to get some decent sleep. So I have two sleeping mask here. Um, one is from my friend Sharia Moore Cosmetics and then the other one I actually got when I flew mint on JetBlue. My husband works for JetBlue. So I have one for him and not that he needs any assistance sleeping but just in case I have one for him and one for myself so that way we can get some decent sleep while I'm in the hospital. I have this. Um, these are just things that I got in the bag when I was in mint from JetBlue. So this is a facial mist and this one here is another lip balm which my husband will probably end up using because I'm not that really, I'm not that crazy about it. It's a little too watery for me. I also have here some hand lotion and some earplugs y'all because once again if you've ever been in the ward and I have to get, go to Dollar Tree and pick one of the pack just so I can have several of them. I think now due to the pandemic, you'll only be in the hospital for 24 hours. So I may not need more, but in the event, God forbid, I need to get a C-section or anything happens where I have to stay longer, I'll probably need more than one pair. But again, if you've ever stayed in the hospital for any reason at all, you know that they don't let you sleep. It's really noisy. So having earplugs and a sleeping mask are essential. I promise you will not regret it. If you are someone who can sleep through hell, then you'll be fine. But if you're like me, who's a really light sleeper, you'll definitely need those because the lights are on and the machines are constantly beeping and people are constantly coming in to check vitals and <sighs> yeah. So trust me when I tell you, take a sleeping mask and some earplugs. I have a small bottle of perfume, which I highly doubt I'll be using after I give birth. I'll probably use it before I give birth, but afterwards, um, I don't want to have any scents on me. I want baby to get used to my smell and I also don't want to cause any rashes or um, you know skin irritation with the perfume so this is just in here if I feel like I need to be a little bit refreshed during labor then I have this in here and then I have my facial oil again from Sharia Moore Cosmetics I just put it inside of this little plastic bag just in case it spills but this is what I'll be using on my skin throughout my hospital stay once I wash my face and all of that. I also have some dental, a pack of dental floss in here. I'll probably end up dumping some of this into like a small sandwich bag so I don't have to take the whole pack. But um, I have a lot of spaces in between my teeth and food gets stuck and I can't stand that. So I have my dental floss that I can pick my teeth as needed. So I got these cubes, I want to say from Amazon a while ago. And all of the essentials that I need for myself are here. So let me just tell you guys right now, you will not see a going home outfit inside of my bag. Here's why. We are in the midst of a pandemic. That's number one. So there's no visitors. Um, the hospital stay is supposedly very short. I think about 24 hours after you deliver. So whatever I wear to the hospital is what I will be coming home in. I already have a designated outfit, which is a pair of black sweats. Um, a simple pair of socks and one of my husband's sweatshirts and my jacket and I have that outfit already set to the side so that when I go into labor I'm not trying to like find find it. it's in the bathroom on the shelf that when it's time I can get in the shower I can put my clothes on when I once I get to the hospital I, you know it'll be to get undressed once I'm admitted and put on the hospital gown and that's really the only time I'll wear the outfit is <laughs> from home to the hospital and then I'm going into the gown. So it's not like the outfit is going to get dirty or anything of the sort. Um, I do plan to put on a Depends, an adult diaper on my way to the hospital in case my water does break. I will not mess up the clothes that I have on. So try to be as minimalistic as possible. Be realistic with yourself. If you feel the need to take items to make you feel more comfortable, then great. Also, I will be printing out and inserting my birth preference guide into this folder, my birth plan birth preference guide. It's just a list of preferences that I would, you know, 
like during my labor experience. So that will be going in here as well. So going into this cube now, again, I got these from Amazon. If I can find them, um, I will definitely link them down below. They should be inside of my history somewhere. I do have two pair of socks in here. I honestly, my husband and I both prefer the hospital socks. Now this is the same hospital I've delivered all my previous five children at. I've had the same midwife, the same nurses, the same doctors over the years, and they know me and my husband very well. So anything I ask for, if he asks them for anything, they don't hesitate to give him. So um, I do have these two pairs just in case they are not non-slip, but I got them from Dollar Tree. They were, I think they came two in a pack for a dollar. So I'm just taking these in the event that my husband needs them or due to the pandemic, if he acts and they can't give him, then he'll be able to have some socks. I have one nursing um, nightgown in here. And with this, it has the little zip here where if I could ever find it, here it is, <laughs> where you basically just unzip and the boob can pop right out to allow baby to nurse comfortably. And then it zips back up and I believe it's like that on both sides. Yes, it is. And once again, just like that. And it zips back up. I plan to labor in the nightgown that the hospital has. And after my delivery, once I'm able to shower, I will take a shower, freshen up myself, slip this on, and that will be just that. I'm not taking anything else. And if that gets dirty, then I'll just put it in the bag and I'll throw it back on another hospital gown. That's it. <laughs> um, the hospital does give you pads and mesh underwear. I'm a very small person and those mesh underwear are not the most comfortable. They tend to like slip around and I do end up getting like leakage. I've been using um, Depends throughout my last three deliveries and these have been a godsend. These are in a size small medium and these are the Target brand Depends and I've had no problems with them. They were like $13 for a pack and they don't have the cute little designs on them that people be showing. Nobody cares about that. I'm bleeding. I don't care. Um, I do have four of these. I have four of those. Not sure if I'll need all four, but not a big deal. Um, I just got this toothbrush from Dollar Tree. You no, know, nine times out of ten, once I'm finished with it, I probably chuck it in the garbage because I like hard bristle, and this is not. It's the medium. It's all they had. So you know, once I'm finished, go in the garbage. I also have this little thing of toothpaste, my bonnet because black girl, <laughs> and then I have a bar of soap also. And that is it y'all, I'm not taking in the underwear. Um, I only wear a nursing bra right now, so there really is no need for me to take any additional nursing bras. I'm nine times out of ten going to be wearing a nursing bra to the hospital and once i get there i don't plan to labor in it i plan to take it off so that once um, i deliver baby and i can have skin to skin right away so i will not be in my nursing bra when i am in labor that will be in my bag so i will be using that nursing bra after delivery i have an extension cord now i never had an issue using the extension cord throughout my labor and delivery stays at the hospital. I know some hospitals do not permit it, but please find out first. I put it in my bag just in case, but my phone charger is also very, very long. So it probably won't be necessary, but I'm having this in my bag just in case. But some hospitals don't permit it and you never know who may be on staff that night and may not be as um, lenient with you using it. So just make sure you ask questions prior to. In this bag here, um, I take, I have two empty bags to take with me as well because the hospital gives you a ton of stuff. Diapers, wipes, they give you a going home outfit, well my hospital does, they give you blankets. Anything that is in the room you are allowed to take because basically you're going to get billed for it anyway. So I rack up on every diaper, every wipe, whatever they have, I get it because they gonna charge you for it anyway, sis. So you might as well just take it. So I have empty bags 
that I can fill up with everything they have. You get the point. <laughs> but inside of this bag, I also have a pair of Old Navy um, flip-flops. You guys have probably seen in 50 million other videos. The showers are not the cleanest. Um, of course, when you think about the fact now we're in the midst of a pandemic, and people have been in the shower prior to you and there's blood and there's goop and all type of placenta juice just oozing everywhere so um my hospital like when you're in the labor room the bathrooms are private once you go to postpartum the bathrooms while well, the showers are in the hallway so it is not a private shower i don't know if anything has changed now due to the pandemic but typically the showers are in the hallway you have your own sink and toilet inside of the room but you have to go into the hallway to shower so it is a public shower like that type of thing so the fact that people are not going to be able to clean it right away probably i don't know what the protocol is going to be but um, I'm just making sure that I am keeping myself as safe as possible throughout my hospital. So I also have a small pack of disinfectant wipes inside of my bag. There's also some hand sanitizer in here somewhere. I'm not sure where I put it. It's probably in my backpack actually, which will house my laptop, my iPad, um, and my charges because I am a student so I do plan to get some assignments done if I have the time but I did email my professors and let them know that hey if y'all don't hear from me I didn't have a baby but um if I do have the free time then I can get some assignments done so I do have my hand sanitizer in my backpack but I do have this pack of disinfectant wipes which will allow me to wipe down the handles of the bed rail or the, uh, the buttons or the table, you know, just if I need them, they're there. And I know that the hospital does a pretty good job with keeping everything um, clean. But in the event that they're short staffed or something happens, I, I have them. Like, to me, in the midst of this pandemic, this is essential right now. So I have that and I have about two different uh, containers of hand sanitizer in my backpack. I also have a water bottle. I will be using this throughout labor to keep myself hydrated. I do have some body armor drinks that I will be taking with me as well. But those are at my mom's house. I just need to go there and, um, and put a couple more of those in my bag. I now we are going to take a look at what's inside of baby boy's bag. This was gifted to me. I added this to my, um, my baby registry and, um, whew. Me get out the way <laughs> i added this to my baby registry and a friend of mine was really nice enough to get it for me i love this bag um yeah so let's dive in i will be sure to leave a link to this down in the description box below so at the top again this is a no order and there's not a lot of stuff in here because once again the hospital will provide you with everything you need the only thing that i'm not showing right now is the car seat that is at my mom's house. I need to take off the um, the padding and just throw it in the wash and make sure it's clean and ready. And that will be getting done between today and tomorrow. So that's the only thing you will not see. But definitely make sure you have a car seat because you cannot leave the hospital with baby without one. So I do have his little snowsuit here. I don't think I will be putting him in it because I think now they don't allow you to put baby in the car seat with the snowsuit on because it doesn't allow the uh, clasp to sit comfortably against their chest. So I'm putting it just in case because it's really not thick at all. It's really lightweight and thin. But I'll see if the hospital gives me the okay to put it on him. If not, then we won't use it. But I'm taking it because I am giving birth in November and it is a it's, it got cold here in New York, y'all. It got cold. There's brick out here. So just to make sure that he's warm, um, I'm going to take it just in case and see if they allow me to put him in it. So I do take the haka because I do breastfeed. And when baby is nursing on one side, you start leaking on the other side. Now, I know a lot of people, their actual milk doesn't come in until about maybe two to four days after delivery. But that colostrum is like so precious and you don't want to waste an ounce of it so when baby is nursing on one side I am able to attach this 
to the other side and catch all of that milk. I can easily put that into a storage bag. My hospital provides those so I don't have any packs. But you can put that into a storage bag and freeze it and use that for a later time when, um, you know, if hubby or your partner wants to be involved in the feedings, you're able to, you know, throw out a bag of milk and use that. So I do have this. When your milk does start to come in, now mine already, I was in course like maybe two weeks ago. So my milk technically has already started to come in and it hasn't stopped since then. So I'm not too sure what... Um, <laughs> I'm not too sure what things are going to be like once I actually deliver, but in case I have any clogged ducts, I do have this little um, massager here, and I don't know how to pronounce the name, it's from Levy, I think that's how you say it, and um, when you turn it on, it vibrates, and you just kind of like push the milk, that hind milk, forward and it unclogs the duct. So this is the old version. This is not the one that warms up, but I can also use the heating pad that I have on my chest if I feel the need to, you know, if I need some type of relief, I'm able to use that and I'll have this as well. I have, <laughs> this is looking a little tiny, but I have this little outfit here for his um, announcement photos. He's supposedly a little chunky, so we'll see if um, this actually uh, fits or not. If not, we're just going to swallow him and put the hat on and call it a day. We ain't about to stress ourselves out. <laughs> I have this um, item here for the car seat. It is a car seat cover. Like I said, it's cold here, so this will um, keep baby boy from all of the air and elements and people with their little virus you know you know what I'm saying but <laughs> I have this to take as well and he has two outfits two going home outfits simply because we don't know how big he is going to be at my 34 week appointment he was measuring at six pounds that's big so just to make sure that we don't take an outfit that is too small or too large we have two outfits for him this is a zero to three months so he has two outfits one in zero to three one in newborn so it's just a uh, pair of black pants a onesie like a, an undershirt onesie and then one that says new to the crew and his little hat that says little man on it and that is one outfit and then his second outfit is a newborn size and this is just a little uh, navy blue outfit blue and white um, his little hat with a um, newborn size onesie and then a newborn size sleeper that goes with the hat that's it that's all we will be taking from him taking for him um, again, I don't plan to take a whole lot of stuff because the hospital comes in very often to check to see how his his navel string will be looking, you know, where they, they cut the umbilical cord. They'll be checking to see how many diapers he has wet, you know, throughout the day and how he's feeding and all of that. So there really is no need for me to take all of these outfits to put him in because the little shirt they provide with the hat and the socks is going to be enough, I promise you. So the only other thing I have in here is his blanket that will go in the car seat to cover him up. Um, I'm not taking any swaddles because the hospital gives a bunch of blankets and I'm taking those two. So I'm just taking this one blanket and then I have some nipple butter. That's it. And this is from Boobies Organic Nipple Balm. That's it. And that is pretty much it um, as far as what I will be wearing on my feet. I did buy a pair of slides from Adidas. Um, I have a lot of postpartum swelling and of course a lot of water um, retention. So I just plan to put on a pair of socks and slip my feet in those slides. And I'm going from the hospital to a car, from the car to the house. So there's no need for me to be in ugg boots that's going to be cutting off my circulation and all that other stuff it's not necessary 
And I also have some hair ties um, just to keep my hair out of the way. It is not as long as it used to be, but it still can get in the way. So I'll probably just either have it braided in two French braids or I have it in a ponytail, like a high bun or something, something out of the way. And that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to oil my scalp and grease my hair, you know, black girl stuff. Before I go to the hospital, like when I come out the shower, I typically will spray my hair with water and oil anyway. So I'll do that and I won't need to do it again for another couple of days. So there's no need for me to take any of that stuff to the hospital because nine times out of ten that bonnet is going on. And um, <laughs> that's just that. I'm not taking any makeup um, simply because... This time around, due to the pandemic, we are not allowed to have any visitors. So there really is no need for me to take any of that stuff. Um, nobody will be coming to see us. As far as pictures, um, I'm confident in my skin. I will be throwing my skin, my facial wash in my bag. And I'll just wash my face, throw my oil on, and I'll be happy and more than content. So that pretty much is it. I really don't need to take anything else. Either. But um, yeah, that pretty much sums up the what's in my hospital bag video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is something a little bit different on my channel. But if you guys would like to see more mommy type videos from me, then let me know. Again, this is baby number six. And um, I know expert, but... I, I like to think I know what I'm doing at this point now. I've been a mommy now for 11 years, so I'm still learning, but I got a lot that I can teach y'all too. So if these are the type of videos that you would like to see, then please leave some ideas for me down in the comment section below. And as always, I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy throughout this pandemic. And yeah, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.